What if you decided that a friend is negative, a friend is a bad influence on you, and doesn't help to elevate you in your life? Right? Because let's give you an example with a relationship with a woman, for example. You want someone to elevate you. Why would I get into a relationship with someone who doesn't bring me up? Who just brings me down? That makes no sense. You want someone to elevate you so you can do even better in your life. So you, f you can grow even faster. So that's something I think about relationships, which is true. So why isn't it the same with friends? It should be the same. But many of us just stay in really terrible friendships that bring us down. And so I think with a friend, I had a video on this. You should have friends that elevate you. Maybe they're funny. Maybe they're just nice to be around, but they don't bring you down. They're not negative influences. They don't tell you to smoke weed. They don't force you to do all these bad habits. They're positive influences overall, happy, positive people that elevate you in your life. They don't have to be pushing you towards your goal, but they don't bring you down. Maybe from time to time they motivate you. They're good people overall. You have to make the decision again. Are these good people or not? I can't make that decision. But in this video, I want to highlight what do you do if you decided that this is a bad friend? They're bad influences on you. They're negative. They don't bring you up in any way. Right? It doesn't have to be about your goals all the time. It could be someone who's funny who brings you up. So you decide that they're bad friends. Now, what do you do? Now, many people will tell you to drop them immediately and tell them, listen, bro, this is enough. I've had, have had enough. You're very negative. This is an approach that I honestly suggest you stay away from because all this will do is create bitterness towards you, anger, just really bad feelings towards you from the friend. So you don't want this. This will lead to a mess, basically a fight. Not physically, but just not fun. It'll lead to a lot of anger on their end, on your end, because you're fighting back. So the best way to drop a friend, a negative friend, someone who's bringing you down, in my opinion, is slowly. So you're slowly bringing up like the temperature. So now it's at like 50 Fahrenheit, slowly every day, 55, 60, 65, 70, overall, Slowly, 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 you know, a hundred in a week, 200 in a month. And how do you do this practically? So practically what I would do is, so let's say they're offering you to hang out. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Sadly, I can't today. I'm busy. Okay. Next week, same thing happens. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Sadly, can't. I'm busy. Next week, next week, next week. Until they just stop, until the relationship just dies. Because they're toxic. They're, you don't want to just confront them, I think, in that opinion, in that way. Because it'll just lead to a mess. And you'll be anxious. You'll be in your head thinking all the time, what do I say? They'll get the memo in like a week or two after you don't, after you tell them all the time that you're busy and you can't. They'll get the memo. So I think the best way to kill a friendship, a very negative friendship, is to do it slowly. And not be confrontational in that way. And I think that that's the best way. Just be very aware and think about your current friends. Are they serving me? That's the biggest thing I want you to take away. Are they serving me? And if not, then use this method. Don't just be direct with them. It's going to hurt them, bro. You can't tell someone they're negative, that they're a bad person, that they're a bad influence on you. It's going to hurt them. It really is. So the best way, again, to kill a friendship, in my opinion, is slowly. Bring the temperature up slowly. So again, bro, if you have any questions, comment down below. We're growing. We're posting videos every single day. Every single day. I appreciate you being on this journey and sticking for these daily videos, updates, wherever you want to call them. But again, they're daily updates so you can see where I'm at, what I'm thinking, current mindset, current way of thinking as well. 
And so again, bro, click down below if you want. There's a Discord of other young men on self-improvement. I'm there as well, helping the boys. We're growing together as a tribe. And once again, bro, I'll see you next time. Peace.